three suicide bombers kill three, wound dozens in Ugandan capital. Islamic State claims responsibility for attack. Explosions near police station, parliament. 33 people hospital at least, five in critical condition. Stuns nation known as bulwark against militant Islam. Uganda has been hit by spate of bombings recently. Islamic State claimed an attack in the heart of Uganda's capital on Tuesday after three suicide bombers killed three people and sent members of parliament running for cover, in the latest in a wave of bombings. The blasts in Kampala, which forced the evacuation of parliament, shocked a nation known as a bulwark against violent Islamist militants in East Africa, and whose leader has spent years cultivating Western security support. Islamic State claimed responsibility via the group's AMIC news agency on an affiliated Telegram account. The nicknames of the three attackers indicated all were Ugandan. The death toll, including the three bombers, was six, police spokesperson Fred Inanga said, including police officers. A diplomat told Reuters two police officers were killed. Inanga said 33 people were being treated in hospital, including five in critical condition. Police said intelligence indicated the Islamic State-aligned Allied Democratic Forces, ADF, were responsible. Our intelligence, indicates that these are domestic terror groups that are linked to ADF, Inanga said. The explosions three minutes apart, the first near the central police station and two very close to parliament, sent MPs and office workers rushing for cover over shards of broken glass as a plume of white smoke rose above downtown. A suicide bomber wearing a backpack detonated near the checkpoint at the police station, killing two, Inanga said. The second attack, involving two suicide bombers on motorbikes, killed one person. A booming sound like that from a big gun went off. The ground shook, my ears nearly went deaf, said Peter Olipot, a 28-year-old bank guard close to parliament. I saw a vehicle on fire and everyone was running and panicking. I saw a boda boda, motorcycle, man, his head was smashed. Anti-terrorism police caught another potential suicide bomber and found a device at his home, Inanga said. The ADF was founded by Ugandan Muslims but is now based in the forested mountains of the neighboring Democratic Republic of Congo, where it has been blamed for thousands of civilian deaths. Last month, Islamic State claimed its first blast in Uganda, an attack on a police station in Kampala which killed no one. Days later, it said a security detachment in Central Africa province bombed a restaurant. Police said the device killed a waitress and wounded three others, and linked it to the ADF, which has pledged allegiance to Islamic State. Also last month, Ugandan police said a suicide bomber had blown up a bus, killing only himself. His affiliation was unclear.